Oh man, oh man, oh man. Hey guys, welcome back to Rick the Electronics Guy. And today we're gonna go over the Jensen VX3016 seven inch motorized single din flip out TV receiver. So today we're gonna do a little bit of the open box and we're gonna actually put it down, set it up and get her powered up so we can do a little bit of a review on this today. Uh, this is actually going to be for my father's birthday present slash Christmas present as he needed a little upgrade from his 1999 regular radio stock factory. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go a little bit over of what this can do versus the last models. And uh, yeah, so let me get you guys over here to the side a little bit and let's see what we got to get right here. So, first, first we are gonna get it all ready and undone. Hopefully have no phone rings, <laughs> as we get that sometimes in the video world today. Stop! Do not return this to the store. We don't want you to redo that, because that means you'll get another brand. That's always what that means. Sliders, front plate, remote control. Where is the speaker? Is it in here? Might be in here too. So, the nice thing about doing an unboxing video and getting it ready is I gotta make sure it's all ready for my dad for his birthday so that it works. Our microphone for our indoor Bluetooth and our wiring harness which we are only gonna be using bomb 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 and I believe ba -ba 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 -ba. I believe that is pink. So these two will get tied together. This will be the red and this will be that. So. And we got our handy dandy little Jensen remote. So move all this so said to the side. Get this bad boy over here. And now we will pull out our radio. That is all boxed up an egg carton. Ta-da! And now let's do it. I can't touch this. this all out of the electrostatic we got the brand new radio out this is what we got so far so go ahead and give me a few minutes I'm gonna get organized and get this bad boy all set up to play right here off of the box and we'll go from there give me just a few minutes all right guys got it all powered up got it ready we're just gonna kick the power on and uh, call it a day. So let me hit the button. And we should have power in about three, two, and for the factory install, here it comes. Bam! All right. So one thing I did hook up just to test is the, the brake line. I wanted to, I wanted to see if the, uh, 
if you could do a bypass. So we're going to find out if it could just be hooked up to ground without a switch or anything. So that's the first thing we're going to test today. That's uh, one big thing that a lot of people do like to know is if, uh, if we can play movies while driving and don't have to buy any extra parts. <laughs> So rest be assured, you can. You can just bypass it by hooking it up straight to ground. There is nothing else needed. Uh, go ahead and hit this. Now the only difference between this and a uh, newer common radio is that uh, you, you, this one you got to kind of hold down a little bit instead of just be like fast push 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 You kind of got to give it that signal warmth to let it sit there and then you know what's going on with it um, There's a lot of nice little features that I like with this perhaps model versus the previous models so the Previous models up uh, the VX 3012 that model specifically is two volt output on your RCAs. Um, so if you're looking to get any share out of like car audio or anything, two volts a little on the lower end compared be between the two and five volt today. Um, the the newer one now is in a, and along with the 3014 is four volts output. Um, the difference between this model and the predecessor to this, the VX3014, is actually that this one has screen mirroring. Now, I don't have the proper HDMI cable for this, but I have seen it at the show and it, and it is pretty nice. It will completely screen mirror your phone and it is a very nice touch to it. Um, one of the other things that is very nice with these models is, is and, and it's nothing big with a lot of the older ones, and by far I believe is Jensen to be more of a second tier system versus like Pioneer Kenwood Alpine, which would be your first tier run of the line. Um, Jensen is more of like the second tier, and then you got all your other guys like Blackfoot and what is it? Uh, Fahrenheit and all that be third and fourth tiers um, you're probably gonna get a lot better luck with a, a Jensen radio versus any of the Blanc puts and everything and the prices aren't that much more comparable I mean you gotta pay an extra what 35 40 bucks for it and you get a better one so but yeah I mean honestly with this radio we can get a lot more into it we can get more depth um, they are uh, 40 watts by four uh, usually anywhere between 13 to 15 watts RMS, which is about normal for a second tier. Uh, first tier would be more of 18 to 24 watts RMS out of 40 watts. 40, 45 watts is the newer ones today. Um, like I said, if you're looking for a good budget radio, this would probably be one of your best bets. Um, you can hook up a camera to it. Actually, I believe you can hook up a couple of them. You got a couple auxiliary ends. You can hook your PlayStations, you can hook your toys, whatever you want. Extra DVD. It's got Bluetooth capabilities. I mean, most radios do today. The USB is right here in the front. You can open it up, drop your line in, charge your radio, do what you need to do. And go from there. Other than that, Everything else is about the same. You got your Sirius, you can buy all the features for it. You got lots of other settings. I mean, we'll just give you the home look, you know. We got Bluetooth, screen mirroring. This is what I was saying about holding it down, right? So, select your smartphone, iPhone. Let's see. So you need to have the digital lightning, digital AV adapter will be needed to support for screen mirroring function. So once you have that, you just have that plugged right in and you're good to go. And you'll be able to get your screen right on here and you will actually be able to use your internet. I've seen it done already. You can go right into Safari, use your internet. Uh, it is a little slower, like I say, it's not like your phone, but you can play YouTube through it and you do what you want. So let's see if we can 
find the menu system and go from there. Go right into our setup. So this is where all the magic usually happens. So we got the auto on for the TFT. Touch screen calibration. I wonder if we can make it faster. Probably not. Maybe a little faster. So we can turn our subwoofer on and off. We have a filter, which Generally it's 80, 120, uh, usually they're not that way, but usually they're 50, 80, and 120. This one goes a lot higher. I don't know who's going to be playing their subwoofer up in 160, but okay. Usually uh, the best setting would be right here, 80 hertz for this type of setting, but uh, yeah. Like I said, everybody's different, picks their stuff, and you got your loud your bass, you can get up, get in for your timer. Go through there and change all that. You get languages. Here in America, we use English. <laughs> so the aspect ratio is full. You put a password on there. You got the version. If you want to do an update, it's probably best not to do an update. Most things today, if you do an update, you're going to have 10 times the problems. So. So that's for our settings. Now everything will be different when you go into like disc or Bluetooth or la da 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 da. Get our volume. Gotta mute the sound, pushing it in. Now, let's go to our radio. And I wonder if it only shows it when it's closed. Yep. So the screen has to be closed for it to pop up down on the bottom there. So um, that's just pretty much the run of the ruck, guys. Um, everything else is pretty much up to you. I just wanted to go over a little bit of the things that uh, the differences. I mean. In today's world, this can be just as useful as any other kind of system. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, thank you for taking the time to check it out. And uh, stop on back. Please subscribe. It's good to be back and talking to you guys again. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.